No, and that's amazing because I agree. I mean, it makes sense. Large enterprises have this type of technology, but to now bring this to the masses, especially for our type of business. Hey, transportation community, this is Luis Lopez here, uh, the aka the Freight Guru, and today we have a real special guest. We're going to be discussing something that I think is forward thinking and is going to be innovative, and that's going passwordless. And today we have a special guest by the name of Nelson Mello. He's with Beyond Identity. Hey, Nelson, how you doing? Hey, Luis, how are you? Thank you for having me. So Nelson and I, guys, we met online, actually. Uh, I was searching through my LinkedIn and saw a, a feed about going passwordless and and connecting a uh, single sign-on to uh, to to a platform where, where we could uh, eliminate a, a second validation point. And uh, within four hours of me uh, reaching out on 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 the uh, website, I, I was able to speak to Eric, the salesman that that got me through uh, the Beyond Identity intro. And Nelson, can you tell me a little bit about Beyond Identity and what you guys got going on? Yeah, for sure. So Beyond Identity is um, an identity company. Uh, I think it's it's on the name, but um, our goal is to to make the word passwordless ultimately. And to do that, we've started with companies like yourself, Luis, um, helping get rid of the the biggest scourge in security on the internet, which is passwords. Yeah, I agree. I think everybody can relate. Passwords are super frustrating. They're annoying. And uh, I think we got a good one here, Nelson. If, uh, if, if I asked you to tell my grandmother what SSO and authentication uh, is, what would you tell her? Man, um, I would tell her that uh, in the internet, there's this, this systems that companies employ to make sure that you don't have to type different passwords everywhere. And for employees of these companies, it gives them a singular point of contact to access all of their applications that they need for their, their daily work. Yeah, it makes total sense. So single sign-on allows you to log into one platform and then in that platform, log into multiple websites. Then Beyond Identity goes ahead and gets those websites and connects with them to avoid a second validation point and connect directly without a password. Is that fair to say, Nelson? Yeah, that's right. And I went through that whole entire process um, and I found it fascinating how quick and efficient it was to, to get going. Um, I currently use Okta and we're going to be talking about that current, uh, in, a few, in a few slides. But first I want to decide, I want to, I want to speak about who likes passwords, who really wants to have a password on every one of their websites. I think it's a consensus, 100%, everybody would love to eliminate passwords. So Nelson, what is Beyond Identity doing to eliminate passwords in the future? Very simple, Louis. You, uh, everybody's familiar with when you're accessing any web page. Uh, they keep saying, "Look for the little green lock in the the browser." And what we've done is that technology. It's actually since the beginning of the internet uh, has had a two way avenue. The site can prove to itself that it's legit, but you you can also use the same technology to prove yourself as a legit user of the site. And we're simply creating the technology um, that's now possible because most people have mobile devices, they have biometrics on those devices, so ways to authenticate. Um, it all came together into the technology and the platform we've created. Now, it makes sense. And it's like such a simple idea, but in reality, it, it resolves such a big problem. And Nelson, is beyond identity or single sign-on, is that only for large enterprise users or can you be a small mid-sized company and do beyond identity all sizes um we in our vision from from one of our founders a gentleman by the name of jim clark uh he was part of the creation of netscape the first browser uh some listeners will remember that product um he wanted to make sure that we had an offering for large enterprises and the complexities that exist there but also for smaller businesses that may want to leverage a single sign-on system and uh, we can cover that entire breadth 
No, and that's amazing because I agree. I mean, it makes sense. Large enterprises have this type of technology, but to now bring this to the masses, especially for our type of business, you know, our community that's watching and subscribing is the transportation supply chain community. And for the most part, our industry has always been known to be outdated, fragmented, and two, three, uh, you know, centuries uh, behind the times, right? And and obviously, I'm exaggerating, but but we've always been outdated. And uh, I feel like the trucking industry as a whole is going through a renaissance period where now mid to small businesses have the ability to use accounting software like QuickBooks, have the ability to log into Slack and message their employees, have the ability to do online payroll through Paylocity, ADP, Bamboo uh, for human resources. And the biggest frustration as a small business owner is that now you have 50, 60 websites that you have to remember username and password. These websites normally, the password changes every 35, 45, 60 days. And then when you onboard an employee, you have to remember or provide them an Excel spreadsheet with every username, name, and password. And when you go into the remote side, obviously we just went through a pandemic and we're currently going through a pandemic. It's it's a very big liability when you have your workforce at home, they have access to your username and password, right? And ultimately they can control changing that uh, at any point. And I think uh, the authentication and the single sign-on eliminates a lot of your liability. What do you feel about that? Yeah, and there's always been this tension in, in the IT community between security and being able to put all the mechanisms you need in place so that you feel your company is well protected online, right. but also not making life harder for users. And in a lot of solutions you see out there, uh, there's always that, that tension and that compromise. We started by saying, what if we could create something that can solve for both? Right. No, it and makes it, it makes perfect really, sense. Yeah. It's Give amazing. users that, that smooth experience, no need to type anything, no need to uh, go through a, a convoluted process to authenticate, but still get all the benefits of the secure platform. 100%. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's where everything's going is that less friction concept, right? Like you go on Amazon, you have a one-click, uh, you can go one username and password to Amazon, you could buy all these items and ultimately everybody wants less friction. And I think that that's what you guys are doing. I mean, the ability to think that now we are going passwordless, to me, it's just an amazing feat. It's for being a small business owner, managing different uh, verticals of my business. I like to know now that I have control of who's, who's on our platform, what access they have, and what exactly they're able to see. And I think that that's the next thing I want to I want to discuss is when it comes down to authentication, that's the second step. But in reality, you got to first do one, the first step, which is pick a single sign on. Correct. And there are options, Nelson, is there? Yeah, the variety of, of systems out there, single sign ons come from very easy to implement or cloud based, nothing for an IT organization to manage all the way to extremely powerful uh, with all sorts of knobs and, and, and crannies to explore and to configure, which depending on the size of organization you have on the IT team, uh, it may make more sense to go with one or the other. Absolutely. And for me personally, I used uh, Okta. I, I researched uh, Forge Rock, uh, Microsoft, and I was very close with Microsoft because we already use Microsoft uh, for other things like 365. But I went with Okta, and I've I'm actually going to give you guys the guidance sheets for Okta, part of this uh, podcast today. I think Okta is definitely doing things a little bit differently. Um, they're ahead of the game for sure. Their customer service is exceptional, and that's who I ended up going with. And I remember Nelson, you and I, we got on our Okta. I got on the single sign-on Okta platform, and within 20 minutes, you had me set up uh, with authentication. Right? I mean, it was it was seamless. Yeah, and you had your. I remember some some of your applications were ready to go, and and you were enjoying the experience pretty quickly. Yeah, and, and that's what I want to show you guys now. I want to show you what this single sign-on experience looks like. So you're going to click on Okta. You got your username there. You're going to be verified through Beyond Identity. That is your Okta dashboard with all your widgets. 
you can go to any one of your websites and you can go passwordless. No username, no password, logged in. So when it comes down to single sign-on and it comes down to this authentication process, I think you guys are doing something that, even though it seems so simple, is way, way ahead of the game. Uh, Nelson, what is, what is the company's big goal uh, when it comes down to single uh, the, the combination between single sign-on and authentication? Are you guys going to be developing new features uh, to this authentication process? Yeah, long-term, the goal is to remove passwords everywhere. And that may, for now, it started with helping organizations, large and small, um, integrate with their existing systems and removing passwords there. Because I think it's where the most need is and where we can have a bigger impact. But we've recently launched a service to allow organizations to service customers as well, not only their employees. Uh, the other area that I would like to explore is for just folks out there that maybe have a password manager and they're struggling with that or they're, they're trying to remember uh, multiple passwords. We want to help those folks as well. That's amazing. Yeah, so it's great. And, and, I, and, and I love the fact that even for our community, like I said, that is not tech savvy, this relates to everybody, no matter if you're a freight broker, shipper, a trucking company, we're all battling 15, 20 tabs, 15, 20 username and passwords, and no direction on how to control all these things. So this does a really good job of putting everything in one repository where every website, every username, every password secure, and you no longer have to give that employee access to the actual password. All you got to do is give them access to a single sign-on platform that now they'll be able to click and go, right? And this is what the platform with single sign-on and, and uh, beyond identity will look like. So the one thing that I didn't know that I was going to get, but I got uh, from Beyond Identity was the ability to see all my devices in one page. And I think that's super useful for, for a small business owner like myself. I want to be able to know how many users are within my network at a certain time and who who's, has access. And uh, Beyond Identity has done a good job of providing every device um, and when they were last seen. So, you know, there's no way you're going to miss out on what devices are, are, are working within your organization. Next thing, Nelson, we're going to look at is what does it cost to get authenticated, right? Um, Nelson, can you tell me a little bit about your cost structure? Yeah. So we have a number of um, enterprise level features that we, we put on that higher tier uh, for $6 per month per user. Uh, and this is Literally per user, it doesn't matter how many devices they use, how many times they authenticate into the platform. Uh, but we also launched recently a free tier. And uh, our founder has a, an interview on CNBC recently where he was asked, why? What, what would you give this away for free? Beyond identity, free to companies. Uh, I, I know that you've gone the sort of uh, free to try route before. I'm thinking of Netscape here. What's the business model? Well, the business model is that um, everyone needs this. Everyone wants to get rid of passwords. And we have lots of other offerings that are revenue genera generating. So we thought making this free would just get rid of all of the friction for adoption. And I think it, it's based on his history with Netscape and Silicon Graphics. He saw that um, user adoption could really drive a business. And it, Ultimately, his goal is to help the world and, and get rid of this quirk of passwords. So if you're a, a medium business and you want to try it out, there's nothing for you to, to try in terms of setting up. Uh, we'll help you get it all, all going and we'll keep it free forever. That's amazing. I mean, so, so not only is this forward thinking technology, but it's also free. So I, I think, I think it, it just speaks for itself. Uh, it, it's just a no brainer. Um, and on my end, you know, we went with the advanced version because we wanted the controls. We wanted the ability to see the devices um, and we wanted the support. And, yeah, you know, not because you're on the phone, Nelson, but I tell you, you know, the support was exceptional. Within three days, I was fully up and running um, and had had the entire access to the authentication connected with the SSO. Um got 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 right away contacted by Eric, which I'm going to provide that information on the 
on the next slide, Eric Fisher was was my sales rep through the whole process. He's uh, his email address and phone number details are here, um, and I, I think I think their their sales team does a great job of just attacking it and and getting you running. And they're going to give you information on on best best practices, which I think is super useful for small and mid sized businesses because the enterprise businesses they have all the best practices. And I'm sure Nelson, you can agree when you deal with an enterprise, there you know there's a lot of controls, a lot of red tape and you're dealing with best practices. But when you're dealing with a small business owner, he's wearing a lot of hats, even mid-sized business owners wearing a lot of hats, and they don't necessarily understand all best practices. And you guys can just jump right in there and give them best practices. Yeah, so Luis, we talked to a fair number of different types of organizations um, from the folks that have over 20,000 employees and they have an entire team of identity people that can take this and run with it to smaller organizations that maybe there's a single IT person and we're more than happy to spend some time with them, making sure that they can get value from the system, not just uh, uh, setting it up and, and go, but really spend time with them on the phone and understand how they want to use it and give them all the guidance we can. Now, it makes sense. I mean, if you're giving a free subscription like you are um, and then you're going to back it up with uh, the support, um, you're definitely going to scale. It makes complete sense. And, and again, it's so simple that when you onboard and you go through the process and you eliminate uh, all that manual second validation point, you realize like, why wouldn't I have authentication? Why wouldn't I want to go passwordless? So I agree. Uh, Nelson, I want to just run through and I, and I know, I know I got to, another thing you guys did great. You got to know my business a little bit. You asked me what I did, how I did it and why am I doing what I'm doing? Um, and the biggest thing that I see um, in, in the freight industry as a whole is cybersecurity. I think it's a real problem. I mean, it's all over the internet. You see a lot of freight forwarders, uh, brokers, they're getting hacked. Um, and, and it's a real issue. And, you know, it's one of those things like I'm showing you an example here on Freightways, which I think is the leader in, in information for the trucking community. Um, it's really important for supply chains to be controlling their cybersecurity because that supply chain can be radically affected by cybersecurity. And those things happen by not having a single sign on and not having authentication and having no controls over all your cloud-based solutions. So I think it's super imperative to get ahead of this because you don't want to be five, six years in your business scaling and then thinking, oh my God, I got 150 employees. Now I'm going to do single sign on. Now I'm going to authenticate. Do it at 30, 35 employees. You're going to be way better off, and it's something that's going to make your business look a lot better long term. Nelson, finally, finally, the thing I want to talk to you about is like if you're if you're speaking to my audience today, what are the best steps, the next steps forward to to onboarding with uh, with Beyond Identity? And I, I want to just discuss discuss that uh, for a minute. And what would be the best practices in order to get to get a relationship built with Beyond Identity and with a single sign-on provider. So if you could tell me a little bit about what the steps would be. Yeah, I would say if you don't have a single sign-on provider today, um, like Luis said, the number is around 30 where things really start getting complicated because users uh, now have a diversity of passwords. They reuse those passwords in some places. Um, you can radically cut on... Uh, the exposure you have from a cybersecurity standpoint, but also help them out and give them a single pane of glass where they can access all the applications. It becomes so free and just knowing, hey, I can single sign on into this thing and I don't have to remember how to do it. It just happens for me. So getting one and then setting up your apps on the single sign on system is critical. Um, really good first step. And then if you really want to go the next level and not have them type anything. And uh, you also gain some visibility by using Beyond Identity into the security of the devices that they're using to access those applications. Um, there's a whole lot of data we can gather from that um, and help you help you refine how your users access and from which devices. Correct. Yeah, so just to recap, you know, you have four major SSO providers. You have Okta, uh, P uh, Ping Identity, Forge Rock and Microsoft Azure. And uh, Nelson, you guys connect with all, all four? Yeah, we support um, the standard identity mechanisms that they all 
sort of have uh, implemented. And um, our solution is cloud-based, so shouldn't be afraid of, I'm going to have to install a bunch of servers or pay for an Amazon license. Um, if you have a single sign-on system, the integration usually for us takes anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes. And Luis, you're a, a perfect candidate, an example of how uh, fast we were able to get you rolling. Uh, so yeah, it was incredible. Uh, yeah, it was, lift. yeah, it was incredible how quick we got it done. I mean, we got it done so quickly. I was I was obviously a little frustrated, like a little freaked out about well, how long is this going to take? Uh, because obviously, single sign-on process it is a three to four, maybe even six week process, depending on how quickly you want to get it done. But the authentication is literally two hours max. I mean, it's just unbelievable, um, and it all integrates with each other. So yeah, it was fascinating for me. Um, it was such an easy experience start to finish. Um, and, and yeah, I feel much more confident about where I am as a small business now that I'm, I feel like I'm on a cloud that's secure and that my, my, my controls are, are a little bit more controlled on my end instead of the end user's end. So that, that to me is a big plus. Uh, we are fully cloud-based. I, I, don't, I don't have one uh, server-based uh, solution. Everything is on the cloud or from our TMS all the way through where we find loads. Uh, so we want to make sure our customers' data is secure. We want to make sure that our employees' data is secure. We want to make sure everything's controlled uh, because cybersecurity is a real problem. So, uh, you know, Nelson, I want to say thank you so much for your time. I know you guys are super busy. Um, it's been a it's been an unbelievable experience working with you guys in the past couple of weeks. We're signed on for three years, and we're going to keep on working with you guys after that. So I want to thank you very much for your time. Likewise, it was a pleasure being here, Rich. Thanks. Well, this is the Freight Guru. Uh, please, you know, click below, subscribe, and uh, tune in next week for another episode. Take care, guys.